Okay, so the next one is the self-titled EP from Radio Aftermath. Uh, so this is a debut EP from Leeds-based rock band Radio Aftermath. The band have cited influences like Jamie Lenman, Biffy Clyro, Black Peaks, Alexis... Alexis on Fire, not Alex is on Fire. It's a common mistake uh, that I nearly made. Alexis on Fire, La Dispute, and um, they describe themselves as balancing aggression and melody with some deliciously delectable hooks thrown in for good measure. So, I mean, straight away that sounds right up my street. Um, yeah. The band consists of Chris Dennett on vocals and guitar, Sam Moran on guitar and vocals, Rob Burns on bass and vocals, and Jack Craven on drums. This is another one that opens with a sort of intro track uh, called Able Archer. It's made up of like voice samples, I think, kind of almost like describing. Kind yeah, it sounds like it's describing it? yeah, the threat of nuclear war or something like that, which is uh, possibly quite- imminent. Pop potentially, yeah. So, so it feels quite up to date in that respect. And then that leads into the second track, Cup of Coffee in the Big Time, which opens with kind of a flurry of aggressive noise before these Razor guitars kick in and then the drums hit their stride. And once it gets going, it's a bit of a rager. Yeah. It's kind of got a mixture of clean vocals and, and kind of gurgling screams on there. I think the next track, Custom Made Lizard Shoes, it's got a bit of a Similar vibe to that Two and a Half Girl album. It's maybe not quite as polished as that album, but it's got similar drive, similar energy, yeah. kind of stabbing riffs, driving guitar licks, nice bass lines, catchy vocal, vocals as well. It's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool uh, song title as well. And I think the, because I think that was one of the singles was possibly released. So it comes with some pretty cool um, album art as well from what I saw on Bandcamp. Yeah, yeah, custom made lizard cheese. Yeah, it's a, a pretty cool. <laughs> it's a pretty cool song name, and it, I mean, this is a. It's an EP, but there's eight tracks. It's twenty seven minutes, which I think is. I mean, that's longer than Turnstile's Time and Space. So it's, um, you, you can maybe get away with calling it a mini album or something. Mm-hmm. I mean, I thought I thought overall this is pretty decent. What, what are your thoughts? Yeah. I think yeah, I think overall it was pretty decent. Well, the first song, like cup of cup of coffee in the big time, you kind of mentioned about you know the vocals on that track. We had a kind of mixture of kind of clean. What did you say again? Clean, so clean vocals, gurgling screams. Yeah, I I did feel as if there was times where there might have been maybe kind of one or two singers, artists, whatever singing at once, and it sometimes felt a bit disjointed. That was my only criticism of, of that song. I've described it as a kind of high energy punk rock number, which felt kinda of, for my money a wee bit reminiscent of kind of early offspring, which, you know, was, was quite cool. Um, and yeah. I think you're right, you know, custom made Lizard Shoes second song on that the album. Plenty of fuzz, reverb, growling kinda of guitars, which was really quite cool. See Through Lies, really enjoyed this number as well. I kind of felt that the guitar in this track had a kind of real swagger to it, which I really enjoyed. I found the lyrics were really infectious too. Um, I actually thought this was a kind of real <laughs> earworm. <laughs> found myself kind of singing along to it. There was a, there was a part as well where they, kind of, they executed this kind of really good, kind of loud, quite loud dynamic, which is is obviously quite cool, uh, quite something that I quite enjoyed. You and All of Us opens with a pretty gloomy kind of bass grunt, which is accompanied by another sample of, sounds like, kind of, as, as I said, like a kind of public surface announcement, kind of felt a bit reminiscent yeah. of Charlie Chaplin's The Great Dictator speech, but possibly less hopeful <laughs> and uplifting. You know, kind of towards the end of that song, kind of really ramps up a gear, you know, treated with some kind of squealing guitars that sounded a bit like sirens, and ends with this uh, voice sample that says something along the lines of the, the annihilation of you and all of us, which is obviously where the, the kind of title for the track came from. Uh, Estranged, uh, which is the next track, I believe, on, on that the album, had a real kind of stoner, desert kind of rock vibe to it, for my money. It kind of had a bit of a kind of the atomic bitch wax kind of feel to me, feel to uh, to me, which I really enjoyed. Whereas inert, I felt as if you know it was another song that had kind of real kind of swagger and confidence to it, which, as I've said, you know can't help but kind of win you over. 
it had a bit more of a grungy vibe to it for me. I did feel as if the lead singer was kind of channeling, channeling some proper Cobain kind of bleach vibes as well, which I thought was pretty cool. And I felt as if it kind of maybe took on a bit more of a kind of classic rock kind of feel to it with those kind of gang vocals in. But yeah, that was good. Yeah, I think um, I've, I've said a nerd kind of opens almost like a hard-edged pop-punk song and then it kind of mutates into like a bit more of a rock and roll number. Yeah. And it's got a, it's got like this really gnarly kind of hard rock guitar solo in it, which is it's quite cool. And um, you obviously mentioned the strange before that, which I think that that guitar line in the intro, I, I've just said I can just listen to it forever. I think it's I think it's a really cool guitar line, and um, I think that that track is maybe the strongest vocal performance on it. I really like the line. Um, sick of you, sick of your shit. I'm over it. I think that that um, the sort of aggression on that last line in particular is really satisfying. And then um, I think Tapestry is a, a decent closer. It's got some some pretty big riffs on it. I'm not totally sold on the chorus, but I do like the bass line that 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 kind of runs through in the mix there. Yeah, I think there's a lot of really cool kind of instrumental things going on yeah. in this album. You know, lots of reverberating guitars, chugging riffs, you know, big crashing drums. I, I like, yeah, like you said, there's a there's sort of loud, quite loud dynamic. I think you and all of us has that kind of soothing melodic instrumental at the start. And then by the end of it, it's like, you know, it becomes really heavy when the song closes out with all these squeals and drum crashes and stuff. So I think there's, there's a lot of cool stuff going on. I just think that, throughout some of the some of the vocals are a bit like a bit wobbly maybe a bit shaky yeah and i suppose that's maybe where yeah it kind of goes back to what i was saying about sometimes it's just feeling a bit disjointed out a wee bit yeah but i think if they i mean this is it's a debut ep but i I think if they can if they can nail that then um they're on a winner no totally yeah like i I think you're you're kind of Right in saying that it is kind of, I, I don't want to say it's a pretty straight up alternative rock uh, EP or album because that seems a bit trite. But you know, f- as you said, full of kind of bold, brash, swaggering guitars, bass grunts, and whatever. Um, there is a lot of wee interesting moments on this album. I do quite like all that stuff to do with the kind of the voice samples and yeah, yeah, me public service announcements. I think that's quite cool. I would like to see a bit more of that, actually. I would like to see more of that kind of you and all of us type tracks. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, you know, there's there's a few points here and there, but they're pretty minute compared to the amount of positives that there are there. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's pretty decent. So I, I've gone a seven, seven out of ten for this. Yeah, man. Uh, I'm the same. I'm the same. It's nice. a good score. Yeah. Yeah, a strong, strong score. Looking forward to hearing more from them. So yeah, that is a self-titled EP from Radio Aftermath. Finished. It's finished.